all of a sudden my stomach i don't know what happened my stomach started doing me boom 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 <laughs> <laughs> the pressure was getting worse. <laughs> what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome i am nada kwan and i'm a beauty lifestyle and content hey, what mm. Beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content creator. And today's video, as you can tell, is giving different setting. I'm doing this video in the car. This video is going to be a mukbang or mukbang or whatever it is, however it is pronounced. Mukbang, mukbang. I don't know. I'm doing that with KFC. As always, I wanted to try the ramen, but it didn't work out. So I decided to do the regular KFC. I did Streetwise three with fries. So I'm going to be telling you guys about the most embarrassing moment of my life. Okay, hmm. let's just get straight into the video. First bite, guys. First bite. It's really hot and very juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's so hot. I bought three twice three, so after the thing this chicken, I have two left. We shall be eating by me. My brother is here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. This chicken is banging. <laughs> this is how to eat chicken, yo. This is how to eat chicken. I know people will go to the extent of chewing their bones too, but this is my stopping point. Okay. So, how do I even start the story? So, it all started when I was returning back from school yeah so i took the vip bus if you're not in ghana we have a station called the vip station and they have vip buses and those buses transport people from accra to other parts of the country yeah so like other regions it's mostly from accra to kumase but you can get from accra to central accra to northern volta region yeah i schooled in kenya university kwame nkuma university of science and technology okay going there i would normally use the VIP bus. Other people use the flight. You can use the flight, but then me, I use the VIP bus every time. So I think we ha we were on vacation. I was supposed to come home, right? So I boarded the VIP bus. There was this man who said by me. He was making attempts to make moves, I guess. He was trying to talk to me, you know, to get my number and all that. He was trying to make convos with me. And I'm a quiet person sometimes, depending on the situation. In the bus, I don't know anyone, so who am I going to talk to? Like, he's those kind of people who would, like, be talking to you about random things. I was just not interested. But then if they, I have to say yeah, I'll say yeah. But then I don't, you know, engage myself so much in the conversation. So at a point, I think he stopped talking or he slept or something. This is where it gets hot, okay? Interesting. When you are getting to a crime, you pass. See, I'm a summer before Kubasa. I think Pokwasi before Amasaman. Let me tell you. I don't even know where we were. But I know that we were almost at Accra. I don't think we had reached Amasaman yet. But then when we were almost getting into Accra or reaching Amasaman, at that time they were having a road construction. So there was so much traffic. It wasn't even funny. Guess what the devil had in store for me? I'm not used to eating and talking. I've always been taught that it's not a lady like thing, so I'm trying my best to make this milk bank work. All of a sudden, my stomach, I don't know what happened. My stomach started doing me boom, 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 boom. Like, hey. <laughs> when my stomach started doing that, my head I was like, Jesus, I hope this is not what it is. I don't think I ate that day. I don't remember if I ate something that day. But like, it was so unexpected. It happened all of a sudden. Guys, come and see me in the bus, in traffic. Serious traffic. In the middle of nowhere. You know, sometimes when you want to use the washroom and you're not going. 
the way it pushes itself i tried so much to comport myself but it was just so obvious that there was something going on with me like at a point i couldn't sit on my seats at one place like i have to be turning like you can see that i was just fidgeting it was too much okay the pressure was getting worse Come and see me guys. Hmm. I was hoping that the bus would start moving small small. But the way it was moving, guys. Turtle steps at that point. I knew that nah. This one yeah. And I didn't know how to get up. Because when I was in the bus, I'm I'm not that kind of person who get up. Go to the driver. I'm not that I'm getting down here. I can also shout from where I'm seated. And say driver makes you walk. It's different when you're sitting in a church row. Church row is like a limited number of seats. But in the bus, about 30 seats. Only you shouting. Hey driver, but you see it's only when I'm going to school and I'm getting to take junction that one someone will say that he's getting down at tech junction so we'll all get down there couldn't do anything so guess what i had to do i had to tell the man seated next to me the man was trying to take my contact guys if me i'm able to embarrass myself like this and tell someone i don't know from anywhere then you should know that it's really bad so i told the man seated next to me that my stomach hurts a lot like I had to say it in some nice way and he had to know what i was talking about because should i come and tell you that i want to shank <laughs> this is all i i have left so i told him in the most polite way i could and even with that one eh, when i was saying you can tell that the thing no it has started again like see that kind of thing when you want to use the washroom it goes small then it's come and the next time it's coming it's like contractions it comes harder than before <laughs> he was like so what can he do or something and i was like oh i don't know if the driver can like stop somewhere for me because we were almost in accra so like any filling station or something that he can stop at for me to you know use the washroom there that'll be fine so he walked all the way to the driver for me and asked the driver guys what do you think the driver said the man came back and told me that the driver said he can't get down anyway at that point i started to panic somewhat because like i can't disgrace myself if the next time it comes and i can't hold it like i would to disgrace myself drink it and i told him that i don't care he should just align me anyway at this point i don't care because like the thing was really really pushing and i really wanted to use the washroom so bad ended up dropping me off in front of a certain filling station there was a bus stop there i think it was almost at amasama and he dropped me off there guys when he dropped me off there when i walked out of the bus i just i, I just started walking straight straight to the filling station my luggages were still in the bus the driver was calling me everyone in the bus was calling me hey now mommy will go luggage you like <laughs> I wasn't minding anyone. I just walked straight into the filling station. I wasn't ready to be spoken to. Okay, at this point, like, what do you expect? So I went to use the washroom, and the washroom wasn't even in a good state. I didn't have a choice at that point. I didn't even care. I just used it like that, but I didn't sit on the WC. No, I'm never doing that. So I relieved myself finally. Hey, sweat christ that was when when i came out i started thinking about my luggage and where exactly i was at that moment because i had no idea where i was i didn't know where my package was the bus had left i was stranded i didn't know where to go to so i just walked straight to the bus stop where i got down from i was just asking people like if they had i was describing my bag to them like the vip bus that stopped like if the the luggage that they brought if they had seen any everyone was like no no so i had to keep on going forward uh, till i reached the actual bus stop and guess what someone was waving at me guess who the man who was seated by me he had to get out by force <laughs> because of my luggages how kind of him the person that i was giving so much attitude ended up helping me out but he ended up helping me out because he thought he could still get my contacts like can you imagine men but i was so relieved that my luggages were safe and the guy actually helped me out that day and now i had to get a trotro that was going to circle because i had called my mom and told her what happened because i should i should pick a car that is going to circle get out a circle she come for me then so i picked the trotro went to circle and met him and then we went home end of story you don't want to be in that position i'm sure there are so many of you who have been in that position before but it hasn't been this bad let me know in the comment section share some funny moments in the comment section yo i finished chewing the chicken just the bones left so this pretty much brings me to the end of this video i really i actually enjoyed this let me know if you guys would want me to do more of these kind of videos and i'll gladly do so please talk to me in the comment section i want to read your stories in the comment section okay thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye